All right, some, something I'm pretty excited about to one. So I'm going to port match um, my intake manifold to my head, right? So I'll try to take a picture to so you guys can see it. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, but this hole is smaller than the hole for the head, right? So I don't want that. I definitely don't want this bigger than that. It would probably be worse because then you would have... A little bit of a lip that the air is hitting before it goes into the uh, the pistons. Um, so first off, unfortunately, my gasket is not very tight. But you know, pick a spot. Say, hey, I'm gonna uh, have it pushed all the way to the bottom, something. Um, and then I'm gonna take a uh, razor blade. Uh, you can use an exacto knife or whatever. Um, and you're going to start slowly taking off the material so that this gasket, gasket in the place that you choose it uh, to be in is exactly the same size as the uh, intake ports for your head. And then we're going to take that with a Sharpie and put it up against our intake manifold. And we're going to slowly, slowly take off some of the material uh, with a Dremel to make it match the whole size. Uh, but again, worst case scenario, I just want it to be a little bit bigger. Uh, that way more air can get in there. Uh, it's not as constrained and, and kind of add a little bit of power. Um, so yeah, all right. So yeah, what a, what a pain in the butt. Um, but you can see, you know, I, I probably clean them up a little bit but it just sucks. I wish that they didn't move around because once you install it, if you've got it pushed up, it's obviously not going to be where it needs to be. Um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on the bottom side of the intake. Make sure you've got your uh, intake manifolds marked somehow. You know, I've got a left and a right uh, marking right there. Um, we're going to take it and put it on the bottom. You know, you don't want to take too much material off, but you want to match them to where the studs are going to be at. And then mark it with a Sharpie and then slowly start taking material off. And every now and then, like I said, you know, put the manifold on there and make sure, you know, hey, yeah, that side needs to come off a little bit, whatever, whatever. It'd be better to have a smaller hole on this one uh, than to have a bigger hole than here. Because like I said, you're going to be get the brick wall a little bit right here on the edges and it would kind of negate the whole purpose of us doing this um, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark it also to uh, real quick take your manifold on uh, and put it on there and just kind of see if you've got any play so I don't really have any play except for on that left side so I mean it's something else to consider uh, so I've got, you know, I've got a rough estimate. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit of material. Obviously, definitely not going to go past my uh, black lines. Um, but just, you know, remember, as you can see, you know, there's a little bit of material that you can see right there. So I don't want to go too much, but I'm just going to start tinkering with it. This is the Dremel bit that I'm going to be using for this one. Um, it's not bad. I use it to make the oil galley a little bit bigger in a previous video uh, but it's not bad so this is a little camera a borsco camera that i bought for like 30 bucks it's pretty cool uh you can use it with your iphone or whatever whatever um but this kind of gives you an idea of you know the progress I've made and it definitely gives you an idea because there's you know one of the ports you can't see all sides it gives you an idea like hey you know I can't take away more material I can't like I need to stop whatever but you can see that I definitely took more you know I have definitely more of a shape of uh, what the head has all right so yeah just keep nugging away at it um yeah, take your time on that gasket because that sucker is very important. But like I said, it just sucks that in this scenario it kind of has some play in it. You know, I've made some progress for sure. I 
probably will just stop there. Like I said, if you make them bigger than the port there, it kind of kills what you're trying to do. So I think I'm good. Uh, make sure you clean the crap out of these, blow them out, blow these out, suck them out if you can. Make sure there's no metal shavings or pieces of gaskets in there. Um, if you like it, uh, subscribe, uh, click the like button, and uh, yeah, thanks.